Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Nikki. We're Team Papa, and uh, the app that we ended up writing is called Way to the Clinic. The problem we were trying to solve is indoor mapping and navigation at, navigation at Adam Brooks Hospital. So because we were writing an app, the thing we started with was finding the right icon. Now, to be realistic, this is all a metaphor for the fact that we focus primarily on user experience. This was a central, uh, central thing that informed how we developed the app from start to finish. And so the app comes with a number of nice features. Not only do you have things you would expect from a navigation app, um, but you also have text directions that you can scroll up from the bottom. You have an A and E button that you can tr triple click on that will take you straight to A and E no matter where you are in the hospital. Also, when you're searching, you have suggestions, but you also have your location. You have your most recent searches. And you can also search through things either by searching manually or scrolling through alphabetically. Now, how do we display the map? So to display the map, we're using the uh, Google Maps API for Android. And essentially, we have three overlays over a blank uh, map. We have location and directions, which are both we render on the fly. And then we have the map tiles, which are all pre-rendered. Um, the way that the maps works is you have various zoom levels. And they're made up of tiles, which are um, all of a constant uh, resolution. So that meant that we had to essentially create a pipeline for that. So the first step was to take a, our uh, vector images and then make them all the same scale and the same size. And specifically, we used AutoCAD for this. Uh, and then we exported each of the images at a variety of resolutions and then um, imported them into Java, where uh, we then took each row and converted that just for into tiles for efficiency reasons. OK, so where does this all start? That's how we get the actual tiles, but we also need some kind of internal representation that we can do mapping reasoning with using Java. Um, so what we did is we took the PDF uh, of the floor plan. We got rid of the stuff we're not interested in, gave this over to Chris so that he could uh, do the tiling. But then we need a way to actually extract the information so that we can work with it using our algorithm. To do that, we use what's called a line map. So we have a bitmap. Um, we trace over all the walkable areas uh, in uh, photo editing software and turn it into what we call a line map. Now, if we zoom in a bit, you'll see that all of the hallways are in black, but all of the interesting places we want to go are colored nodes. And the reason they're colored is because this enables us to do two things. One, when we scan through the image using our software, we can automatically extract the labels of all the different locations we want to go to. And two, because they all have these black connections between them, we can extract the edges between the vertices. And so this is how we go from a level, or multiple levels in the hospital, to multiple line maps. Now we still need some way. Now we've, so we've got connected graphs for each of the floors. We need a way to connect those up. The way we do that is using the stairs and the lifts. The only difference really between stairs and lifts is that for a stair vertex, we only connect it to the vertices directly above and below it. Whereas for a lift, we connect it to all of them because we consider it to be uniform cost whether you're going up one floor or going up five floors. Um, by default, uh, we have it set so that it always takes the lift because of accessibility concerns, but you can remove that. Um, once we have these complete graphs, we can use an algorithm. We use A star to get the ideal directions as a series of vertices that we can draw. And because each edge has a certain orientation, we can actually calculate the change in angle as we follow along that path to generate text directions. Yeah. Um, we knew from the start that getting good location data was going to be an issue, as um, GPS wasn't going to work very well in a large concrete building such as Addenbrooke's. Um, so we discussed other models we could use. Um, in the end, it turned out that Google Location Services actually integrates Wi-Fi fingerprinting inside. So um, we chose to do that instead. Um, we have our own Wi-Fi fingerprinting model that we would hope to use in the future, which is bespoke. Um, and that would allow us to get different floor levels as well. But we didn't have the time or access to the hospital to um, train our model enough to use, so we're using Google Location Services. Um, once you have a location, you can do the standard things you would expect, such as um, routing from your location to a destination, as shown here. Um, and yeah, so generally, um, in conclusion, we're just trying to provide a nice user interface to make what can be a stressful experience um, simpler. And the nice thing is that everything we did can be applied um, to a different building in the future if we have the correct maps. And yeah, we'd just like to thank Adam Rooks Hospital and our client Stephanie.